This is a short video demonstrating a little kit I recently built for a mini Tesla coil. A Tesla coil is a resonant electrical transformer circuit first designed by the inventor Nikola Tesla in 1891. It produces high frequency alternating current of high voltage and low current. Tesla used this circuit to conduct different experiments including the transmission of electrical energy without wires. Today their main use is for entertainment and educational demonstrations. While the voltages produced by a large Tesla coil can be quite dangerous, a small coil of the size described here is pretty safe. That being said, don't touch the high voltage and don't use it near any electronics like a smartphone or a computer. If you experiment with Tesla coils, I would encourage you to read about the technology and safety issues from sources like Wikipedia. These mini Tesla coil kits are available on eBay and directly from sources like AliExpress. They include all parts but require an external DC power supply. Most include a feature to connect a music source to hear a sound. Larger kits are available at higher cost. Instructions, if any are included at all, are typically one piece of paper written in Chinese, but assembly is pretty straightforward and there are YouTube videos and other resources available to help. The kits tend to vary slightly in component values and parts placement. My kit cost just under $5 Canadian from AliExpress with free shipping. It arrived from China in the mail in about three weeks. It included all parts including an audio cable and a small neon lamp to test it. It went together quite easily. There were a few discrepancies in the part values versus the instruction sheet, which Google Translate did a pretty good job at translating. I had to bend the leads of one capacitor to fit the holes in the board. This design has red and blue LEDs that mount inside the coil form. Mine didn't come with any thermal paste for the heat sinks. You can use it without this, but I used the substitute of a zinc oxide type skin cream, which is similar, although inferior to real thermal paste, but should work at least for a few months. Be sure to get the coil primary winding oriented correctly. After carefully assembling it, it worked the first time. It requires a power source of 15 to 24 volts DC. They give a current requirement of 2 amps, but I typically measure about 900 milliamps at 24 volts. When powered up, if it's working, both LEDs will come on, and you should see a small blue arc at the end of the wire at the top of the coil. The transistors get quite hot. I would only leave it on for about 10 seconds or so before letting it cool down to avoid damaging the transistors. A high voltage field extends around the coil. You can hold a neon lamp near it and see it light up. You can even light a compact fluorescent bulb in the same way. A fun feature of most of these units is an audio jack that you can connect to a source of audio. When you do so, you can hear the audio due to the ionization of the air around the coil. Here I have it connected to a stereo receiver headphone jack. The audio is not very loud and not of high quality, but it does work. With an oscilloscope lead near the unit, I can see the output is a clean sine wave at a frequency of around 4.5 MHz. I can pick up the signal from a portable radio tuned to the short wave band around 3.5 MHz. The frequency varies if you move your hand toward and away from the coil. I have a book on electronics from the 1970s that describes a Tesla coil design that uses vacuum tubes and runs on AC power. It produces 300 watts of output and I noticed that there are no safety warnings given in the book at all. These mini Tesla coil kits are a lot of fun and a great value for about five bucks. With some knowledge of soldering and identifying electronic components, they're easy to put together.